everyone and welcome. My name is Tlina and today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to question six from this Leaving Cert Ordinary Level paper. This is one of the short questions, so it's worth 30 marks, and this is based on algebra and calculus. So let's get started. We're told in question A that g of x is the following function in x. So g of x is equal to x squared plus 8x minus 6. And we're asked to find the function of g minus 5. So we can see here the difference between g of x and g of minus 5, okay, is that x is replaced by minus 5. So x is minus 5. So what they're basically asking us to do is fill out this function for x is equal to minus 5. So g of minus 5 so I'm just putting in minus 5 everywhere where x was. Then we have minus 5 squared plus 8 by minus 5 minus 6. So we have minus 5 squared is 25. And then we have 8 minus 5. So 8 multiplied by minus 5 is going to give us minus 40 minus 6. Six. And I'm just going to use my calculator for the last step here. So we have 25 minus 40 minus 6. And that gives us minus 21. So g of minus 5 is equal to minus 21. This is our final answer. And for getting this correct, you're going to get a total of 5 marks. Now the second part of question A asks us to use calculus to find the value of x which gives the minimum value of g of x. So when you're dealing with minimum and maximum values of functions, what you're going to want to do is find the derivative and let that equal to zero. So that's a general rule when you're asked a question like this. So I'm just going to write down the original function. So that was g of x is equal to x squared plus 8x minus 6. So we're going to derive this function and then let it equal to 0. So the derivative of g of x is equal to. So when we're deriving, you get the power and you multiply it by what's in front of the number, so the coefficient here. So I'm just going to bring down the 2 in this case. x stays the same and then you reduce the power by 1. So I reduce 2 by 1. So it becomes 1, so it's just x to the power of 1, which is just x. And then here, we just have 8x, so that's basically 8x to the power of 1. So I multiply 1 by 8, we just get 8, and you reduce the power of x by 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, and x to the power of 0 is just 1. So it's just 8, and minus 6 is a constant. So the, the derivative of a constant is 0. So this is the derivative. Let's let this equal to 0. Now let's find the value of x. So I leave 2x on this side, move 8 across so it becomes minus 8, divide both sides by 2. So 2x divided by 2 is equal to minus 8 divided by 2. My 2's cancel, so I'm left with x on this side, and minus 8 divided by 2 is going to give us minus 4. So x is equal to minus 4, and that is the value of x, which gives the minimum value of this function. And for getting this, you're going to get a total of 5 marks for this question. Question B asks us to expand and simplify 2x minus 4 squared minus 6. So I'm just going to write this out here for myself. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply out my back-to-back -back brackets. So I'm going to rewrite 2x minus 4 squared as 2x minus 4 by 2x minus 4. And we'll just let six, minus 6 as it is. Now we multiply these. So 2x multiplied by 2x is 4x squared. 2x by minus 4 is minus 8x. And then minus 4 by 2x is again minus 8x. And minus 4 by minus 4 is plus 16. And then we have minus 6. So now I'm just going to group together like terms. So the only x squared term 
is 4x squared. Then we have two values of x. We have minus 8x minus 8x. So that's going to give us minus 16x. And then we have 16 minus 6, which is going to give us plus 10. So that is that expression simplified. So that's our final answer. 4x squared minus 16x plus 10. And you're going to get a total of 10 marks for the correct answer for this question. Now question C asks us to solve the following equation in x. And that is 9x squared plus 6x minus 5. And it asks us to give our answer correct to two decimal places. So immediately when we're told to give our answer to a certain number of decimal places, when you're given a quadratic equation like this, you should know that you're going to need to use the minus b formula. And the minus b formula can be found on page 20 of the log tables, just in case you don't know it off by heart. So we're going to take a look at that now. So here on page 20 of the log tables, we have the minus b formula. So the roots of the quadratic equation, and then you just have the quadratic equation. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So I've just rewritten the formula here. My a value is going to be 9, so that's the coefficient of x squared. My b value is going to be 6, the coefficient of x, and my c value is going to be minus 5. So let's start filling this out. So minus b, so that's minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that is 6 squared, minus 4a, which is 9, c, which is minus 5. And that's all over 2 by 9. So we have minus 6 plus or minus. Now let's work out what's supposed to be inside this bracket. And I'm going to do that using my calculator. So it's 6 squared minus 4 by 9 by minus 5. So that is the square root of 216 all over 18. So x is equal to minus 6 plus root 216 over 18. x is equal to minus 6 minus 216 over 18. So they're going to be our two answers. Let's work out the one on the left first. So putting that into my calculator, minus 6 plus root 16, or plus root 216, my apologies, over 18. And to correct to two decimal places, that is 0 0.48. And now we just need to change one sign. So the easiest thing to do is press the back button on your calculator and change this positive sign to a negative sign, and then press equals. And we get minus 1.149, so that is minus 1.15, correct to two decimal places. So x is equal to 0 0.48 and x is equal to minus 1.15. These are our two correct answers. And for getting these right, you're going to get a total of 10 marks. So that's all for this question, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and that it might have cleared up anything that you were struggling with when going through it yourself. Thank you all very much for listening and for watching. I'll see you in the next video.